Big time news. Big time news. Somewhat of breaking news. Saquon Barkley said he is going to skip minicamp. He's not happy with his pay. He has made a statement here. Let me read it to you. As I previously stated, I am not looking to set any contract records. I am not demanding to be the highest paid player at my position. I understand the market. My goal is just to be compensated respectfully based on my contributions to the team. On the field and in the locker room. I've been in talk with the Giants throughout the offseason. If at some point there's a deal that is fair to both sides on the table, I'll be ready to sign. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, do you think Mr. Saquon is getting paid respectfully? Do you think $10.1 million is too much for a running back? Because that's what he's getting paid. Right now, he's currently tied for eighth in highest paid running backs. Let's go down the list on the eight running backs ahead of him. Number one, Christian McCaffrey. He's making $16 million. Number two, Alvin Kamara is making $15 million. Number three, Mr. Dalvin Cook, who has just been cut, is making $12.6 million. I guess that was before he was cut. Number four, Mr. Derrick Henry, the beast, Derrick Henry, $12.5 million. Number five, Nick Chubb making $12.2 million. Number six, Joe Mixon making $12 million. Number seven, Aaron Jones making $11.5 million. Now, he is tied with Mr. Tony Pollard. He is also tied with Mr. Josh Jacobs. So, that's some good company to be in for Saquon. Some great running backs. Um, let's see who's right after them to make it into the top 10. Mr. James Conner is making $7 million. So, it's a big jump down from their 10.1 all the way down from to seven. Uh, there was a three-way tie for eight, so I guess that would make him the 12th paid, highest paid running back. And uh, right below that, just to see if there's another jump, Miles Sanders at 6.35, who did just sign with the Panthers. So that is a new deal. He's a Super Bowl champ. So what do you think, guys? Let me know. Uh, holler at me in the comments. Scream at me. How much is Saquon worth? Um, Christian McCaffrey, when healthy, is the best running back. In the league, in my opinion, he can get you 2,000 yards from scrimmage. He's a great catcher of the ball. He's a great runner of the ball. Hell, he can even pass the ball. So that is fair for him to be the highest paid, in my opinion. But a lot of people is going to shout out and say, Saquon gets hurt. Saquon doesn't be on the field all the time. Well, Christian McCaffrey does too. And the San Francisco 49ers saw a lot of value in him which they usually turn out running backs. They usually run it back by committee because they feel like running backs don't need to be paid that much if they can get protection from mother, production from multiple people. Well, Kyle Shanahan has proved that wrong as he paid Christian $16 million to lead his team and I think it's going to be a great investment. Um, number two, Alvin Kamara. He gets hurt a, <laughs> he gets hurt a lot as well. Um, similar to Saquon Barkley and Christian McCaffrey, he can not only get a lot of yards from scrimmage running, get a lot of yards from scrimmage catching as well. So these are multi-purpose backs who are going to be a huge parts of the offense. And if you watched the New York Giants last year, there was only two things of the offense. It was Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. There was no wide receivers to help. They were running the show on their own. Saquon, I'm sure if I look up stats, had a high, very high percentage of yards for their season. I'm willing to say probably over 50% of their offense last year. So I believe he is correct. Um, he does a lot for that team, and he should be compensated as so. Number three, Derrick Henry, who we all know is one of the best running backs, and he's coming – to be a Hall of Famer if he keeps doing what he's doing. Um, he does get hurt a little bit too. He doesn't really catch the ball well. But we all know uh, Derrick Henry, the king. Henry has had over 2,000 yards rushing. And that is huge. That is that is big production for a season. 2,000 yards by yourself. Um, Mr. Nick Chubb is a beast. Uh, Mr. Joe Mixon is a beast. 
Mr. Aaron Jones is a beast. But if we're talking production of the top three, which is Christian McCaffrey, Alvin Kamara, and Derrick Henry, who can give you over 2,000 yards of offense single-handedly on their own, Saquon is part of that committee. So you would assume that he's going to give you more production than Mr. Nick Chubb, who is a beast on the ground. Mr. Joe Mixon, who gets hurt a lot as well. Um, Mr. Aaron Jones. And then he's got this three-way tie with Josh Jacobs, Tony Pollard. Um, Tony Pollard, to me, who has split time with Ezekiel Elliott. Um, he hasn't really been a number one featured back or three down back. More of a change of pace back. Now, during the end stretch of their season, he started to become a featured back. But we already see that they drafted another running back to help his load. So Saquon is like, I am a feature back. I am a three down back. And I am the majority of your offense. Why is this guy having the same pay as me? He's feeling low key disrespected. And I agree. I agree, guys. Um, hey, 16 million is a lot to be the highest paid. He said he's not trying to be the highest paid. He's just trying to be respected. Alvin Kamara with 15 is a lot. Then you jump all the way down to 12.5 with Derrick Henry. So if you want to bargain Giants, say, hey, look, you're great. This is what I would do. I'm not saying that this has to be done. I'm going to give you my take and you let me know if you agree. If I'm the Giants front office, Mr. Saquon, you are absolutely correct. You are a huge part of this franchise. You're a face of this franchise for the time being. You're a huge part of this offense. And without you, we probably won't have a successful season. So we need you and we want you to feel respected and compensated. So no, you don't want to be the highest paid running back. We're not going to give you $16 million like Christian McCaffrey. We think that was a crazy deal. Just like, <laughs> just like the Ravens thought Deshaun Watson contract was a crazy deal. So we want to be fair to both sides, my friend. So, hey, 16 million and 15 million, that's way too crazy for us, my friend. Derrick Henry is making 12.5 as the third best running back. And the running backs behind him are making similar money. Let's take care of you, my friend. Let's put you right behind the top two. Let's give you $13 million, 80% guarantee. Give us some protection. And go out there and let's let's lead this team to the playoffs again and see if we can make another magical Super Bowl run. I mean, we've had crazier runs before. Giants, do the right thing. Make Saquon show up to training camp. Pay that man. Give that man his dollars. Thank you for tuning into the Mac Sports Attack. I am the Mac himself, Marvin Allen Cox. Please like, share, and subscribe. You don't even got to put the notification bell on. I'm just happy with some love. Thank you again for watching. What do you think Saquon deserves? What do you think the Giants are going to do? Let me know in the comments below. God bless.